Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the message of hope. I give God praise and thanks for another opportunity to stand to share his word. Amen. I, I, I really, really want to give God praise and thanks for you who have been viewing this program. I trust that you have been blessed. You, Many of you, I'm sure by now you should make up your mind to or should have made up your mind to accept Jesus Christ as your personal, because this is the reason, this is the bottom line. That's why we share the word of God. Amen. We share the gospel, the good news of salvation, that you too could experience being born again. You too could experience new life in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you too could have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that you too would be able to go to be with Jesus when he comes. Today we want to look into the Word of God. We want to look into Revelation chapter 3. I mean, Revelation is a heavy book. Some people say it's a frightening book. Some people say they don't understand the book. But by the grace of God, he's going to give us enlightenment and revelation in his Word. Amen. We want to look at chapter 3. Um, I think I could read, uh, no, I don't want to go all the way there. So let me read from verse 14, chapter 3, verse 14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things said the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen. Verse, verse 20 is the one I really, really want to look at this morning. We want to look at this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We know um, this book, the, this book or these, the, the, the message to the seven churches. Hallelujah. The revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That God gave to, 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 to John to, to, to give to the churches, the seven churches. But they, whether it's one church or seven, they have application to all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether we are believers or unbelievers, whether we have been saved or we have not been saved, they have. We could look into the, read into the, the, what the, the word to the seven churches, and we could find something there that will apply to our lives. Something, somewhere. For example, in Ephesus, he says, we, 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 you have left your first love, repent, return to your first love. And we know many of us who have been born again, what we used to do at the beginning, the, the zeal we had, and the, how we used to pray and fast and witness, we don't do that as much anymore. So we have left our first love. So it's not only to the church of Ephesus then, it's also to the church today, to the people of God today. We want to pray. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for your word. Bless your word to our hearts. Give us enlightenment in your word, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to apply the word, not just to be hearers, O oh God, but to be doers of your word. Commit, I commit us all into your hands today. I commit my life into your hands. Use me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak through me. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. 
The topic today is the knock of a lifetime. The knock of a lifetime. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We, we know all about doors. Amen. Verse 20 tells us, behold, I stand. Jesus is speaking. As we said, I know, I understand, and we all understand this is a message to the church at Laodicea. It's also a message to us as a church today, as the church of the living God, as individuals in the church of the living God, as well as it could be used, it could be applied to those who have not yet known Jesus Christ, <coughs> excuse me, as Lord and Savior. Amen. Blessed. This is where I want to zero in today. To those of you who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Come on. It is time hallelujah, to give your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here he's saying, I, he's saying, I stand at the door and knock. And my topic today, the topic is the knock of a lifetime. I say of a lifetime because you may hear, and I know many of you, or all of us, we have heard, we would have heard the Lord knocking at our heart's door. Hallelujah. In the still, stillness of the night, uh, he might use certain situations uh, to speak to us, uh, to woo us, to draw us to himself. Uh, hallelujah. To speak to us. And we would have, many people would have refused. It took me a while, long, a long while before I responded, hallelujah, to the knock, hallelujah. And I want to encourage you, too long might be too late for you. Don't wait too long, hallelujah, to respond, hallelujah, to the knock on your door. Let's look at the physical door in our own homes. Hallelujah, people come to our houses, come to our buildings, come to where we live and would knock on our doors. Amen. And sometimes, hallelujah, we may look out and see who it is. We may look at the window, or look through your keyhole or wherever, and you could see the person and will not open because that is somebody I don't want to talk to today. I don't want to have anything, no communication with that person today. Hallelujah. Sales people and some other, uh, uh, um, for example, people who go around witnessing, uh, about the Lord Jesus Christ, house to house. And when they knock or when they call, we do not answer. We do not respond. Hallelujah. And you know that. You have done it. I have done it. Several times. We look to see who is there. And because of according to the person that is there, we may open or we may not open. Come on. And on the other hand, there are people who have come who we have opened our lives to. Hallelujah. We have opened our hearts too. Hallelujah. We have had fellowship, relationships with people we should not have had relationship. We opened up our lives to them and they left us heartbroken. Hallelujah. Wounded, battered, beaten, bruised, empty. Hallelujah. Because we have opened our lives, our heart to the wrong person or persons. We thought they would do us good. Hallelujah. But they left us broken hearted. Hallelujah. Maimed, wounded, bruised, battered, penniless. Both sides, male, female. Hallelujah. But here is a person who will, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. When he comes in, he comes to stay. He comes to stay and to do us good. He comes to stay and to do you good. He says, I stand. He said, look, here am I. Behold, look. Hallelujah. Look me outside here. Look me. I'm out here. I'm out of outside your door. I want to come in. I want to come in. He's knocking. He has been knocking. You've heard that knock before. You've heard it in different, under different circumstances. And sometimes we refuse to open, 
the daughter, somebody at our, somebody who is at our door physically refused to open. And the person may leave and may come again. And we refused. And the person may never come back. This is why this topic is called the knock of a lifetime. Because this person who is standing at your door, he has been knocking before. He keeps knocking because he's interested in you. He has your best interest at heart. Amen. And he's knocking, and he's knocking, and he's knocking. And that knock may stop one day, it may never. You may never hear that knock again because he may walk away and never come back to knock at your door. Behold, hallelujah, I stand at the door and knock. And you've seen pictures. Hallelujah. Artists would have given their own impression, hallelujah, of, of Jesus standing outside of a door and he's knocking. Hallelujah. And people are inside, hallelujah, in the building, hallelujah. And sometimes he's knocking, but we cannot, we cannot hear because we are so consumed in our own affairs. We are so taken up with our own business, hallelujah. We've, we've gone so far, we are so consumed and taken up with our own affairs, our own business, hallelujah, that we cannot even hear the knock, hallelujah, hallelujah. And parents would, would know today, hallelujah, when the television just, we just got television and children are glued to the television, even now, still, and we also have the cell phones and, 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 and parents would be calling a child and they're so glued to the television, they're not even hearing. And you have to shout or you have to go and take the television off and then ask the question, did you hear me calling you? Huh? And on the cell phone, so consumed, with what they are doing on the cell phone that you parent or anybody else could be calling them and they would not even hear because they're so taken up, so consumed, hallelujah, with what is going on in their own life. That's why we said last week, as the prophet Isaiah said, all we like sheep have turned and we have gone to our own way. Hallelujah. Some of us have strayed so far. The shepherd is calling and we cannot hear his voice because we have gone so far away from him. Behold, he says, I stand. He's standing at the door. Jesus is speaking. Hallelujah. And knock. And hear this other part. If any man, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, any husband, any wife, any prime minister, any politician, any doctor, any teacher, any man, woman, boy or girl, if any man hear my voice. Now you, you have to be, you have to, you, you have to be uh, not so taken up with other things to hear, you know. You cannot be too entangled, hallelujah, with the things of this world that when he's knocking, you can't hear. You, when he's knocking, he said, if any man hear my voice, he's saying, um, he's saying, he's, he said, behold, I stand. He's telling you and he's telling me, he's telling the world. He's saying, I stand at the door and I am knocking. If any man hear my voice, are you hearing his voice calling you today? Hallelujah. Are you hearing his voice calling you? Hallelujah. As I was reading, he said when um, Elijah ran from Jezebel and he was in the mountain, hallelujah, the Bible tells us God spoke to him in a still, small voice. There was an earthquake and he was, God was not in the earthquake. There was a strong wind. God was not in the wind. Hallelujah. There was a fire, you know, sometimes in, in the church we like fire and we like the heat, we like the Holy Spirit and the, the you know, the, 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 the jumping up and all of that. Hallelujah. But he was not there. And sometimes God speaks to us in, in the stillness of the light, when you're on your bed, hallelujah, and you're reflecting on your day and the things you have done, and you line them up and we line them up with, with what God um, is saying in his word, and we realize he speaks to us at those times, tells us, listen, what you're doing there is not right. 
He's speaking to you. Hallelujah. In the still, the still small voice. Hallelujah. Could you hear? Can you hear his voice speaking to you? Calling you, telling you you're going the wrong way. Hallelujah. Telling you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Are you hearing his voice saying there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end of it is, is death? Are you hearing his voice calling you, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest? Are you hearing him saying, Hallelujah, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish? Are you hearing saying, I come to seek and to save? that which was lost. Are you hearing him saying, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance? Are you hearing him saying, I came not to destroy men's lives, but to save them? Are you hearing anything? He's speaking. God is speaking through his son by the Holy Spirit. Here he's saying, I stand at the door and I'm knocking. If there's a condition, if you hear, you can, the choice is yours, the choice is mine. You can hear and open, you can hear and not open. Amen. So he's saying, it, it, it rests on a condition. If any man hear my voice, hallelujah, God is speaking. Hallelujah, he is speaking. Hallelujah. He's speaking through his son, Jesus Christ. So you got to hear his voice. And when you hear, when you hear the choice is yours to open. So he's saying, if you hear, and if you open the door, you got to hear, you can hear and open. You can hear and do not open. Amen. And also, you, you possibly so busy, so busy, doing this, that, and the other, hallelujah, that you cannot hear, amen, gone so far, deep in sin, hallelujah, sinking, to rise no more, but he's calling, he's calling you, you can be so far away from him, so far, but let me let you know, you cannot go too far, that he cannot save you, if you cry out and cry, and respond to his knock. If you respond to his knock and open the door. So what is the first thing? He's standing there. And you gotta hear his voice. He's speaking to you. He's knocking. Hallelujah. At your heart's door. Hallelujah. And he's saying, if any man hear my voice, hear the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you gotta and open. You gotta hear and then you gotta open. You can hear and don't open. And also, you don't even have to hear. Some people cl so closed. They don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. They close their mind. They close their heart. They close their spiritual ears. That's why Jesus had to say several times, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. Those who have ears, to, those who have not caught their ears and stopped their ears and stiffened their neck and hardened their heart. If you have ears to hear, hear what Jesus is saying to you today. He's saying, I'm knocking at your heart's door. If you hear, open. Open your heart to him. People so, so callous. Hallelujah. Become callous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the gospel and the blood of Jesus Christ. And Jesus means nothing to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But too late, too late shall be the cry. Jesus of Nazareth has already passed by. If any man hear, hallelujah, my voice, and open the door of your heart. In the book of Acts, the apostle Paul, Peter, and they were... They, they were on their journey and they went at, at a certain place and the woman were by the riverside there and the Bible tells us they preached to the woman and hear what the scripture says and those whose hearts the Lord opened. You have to be so like so malleable in the pliable in God's hands. Pliable. Don't harden your heart. Me I want to hear. Me, I don't have here, want to hear anything they have to tell me. Who is Jesus? I don't care about Jesus. You, you, you're so hardened, hard-hearted when it comes 
to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's there waiting. He shed his blood. Hallelujah. He gave up his life on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Open, open. Today is a day to open your heart for the Lord Jesus Christ. Open up, open up. Stop. Come on, open up your heart. Open, open, open. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, open your heart today and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. It will do you good. Hallelujah. You're not hurting Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To shut your heart against him is to shut your life out of heaven, to shut your life out of eternity. Come on, he's asking today. He wants you to open your heart. Hear what he says. If you open, if you open your heart today, he said, I will come in. You know, we have this little song, into my heart, into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Let him come into your heart today. And your heart means into your life, into your life, into your being. Accept him today as your personal savior. And Lord, he said, if you open, if you will only open your heart today, hallelujah. He says, I will come in. He's not going to break down the door. He's not going to crash your door. Hallelujah. He's a gentleman. He's going to wait on you. Your response, hallelujah, is crucial. Your response to him is crucial today. Hallelujah. He says, if you do that, he will come in and will sup with you. He would have fellowship with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Fellowship with Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And this is where you'll be preparing. You'll be preparing. You, you start your journey. Hallelujah. Uh, for eternity. For eternity with him. Hallelujah. Then you start your journey with eternity. Hallelujah. With him for all eternity. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Open. Hallelujah. He says, if you open, I will come in. <laughs> He's not going to barge in like that. Hallelujah. He will not barge in to any life, to any home, to any marriage, to any business, to any nation, to any people, to any family. Except we invite him. We must invite him into our lives. Ask him to come in. He's waiting. He has been waiting. Hallelujah. And we'll still wait until time is no more. <laughs> this is the day of grace and mercy. Extended to us. Each day you are alive. It's an opportunity God is giving you to respond to his son, not only to go to work alone. It's another opportunity, hallelujah, to be in the land of the living, hallelujah, to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, to accept him as your personal savior. Now, this is why I am here. I want you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and Lord. And he wants you more than I want you to do so. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Open the door. Open the door of your heart. Open your life, your marriage, your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Businesses are going down. Hallelujah. 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 Because we are, we are doing it on our own. We are trying to manage everything on our own. Yes, we could make it on our own to a point. But it will be so much better with Jesus Christ on board. Amen. It will be so much better with Jesus Christ on board. Open the door. If any man hear my voice, are you hearing the voice of the Lord speaking to you today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, my sheep know my voice. Hallelujah. My sheep. Remember, Isaiah said, we are all like sheep. So we are sheep. We are his sheep. But you have not made him your shepherd. <laughs> we are his sheep. Work of his hands. Hallelujah. Sheep of his pasture. Hallelujah. But you have not made the Lord Jesus Christ your shepherd. So when you make him your shepherd, 
then you can say like David, the Lord is my shepherd, and then you will be his real sheep. Amen. Said other sheep I have that's not of this fold, not of those that he already have. The sheep that he has, other sheep out there, you are out there. He's want to bring you into his fold. And today is the day that you can get into the fold by opening the door of your heart, your life, and accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. This is what he told Nicodemus. You must be born again. There's no other way. There's no other way. Hallelujah. No joining of church. No water baptism. No name written in the book in any in the church role. Come on. No giving of offerings. They cannot be compared with the blood of Jesus Christ. It's good to do all those things, yes. But it cannot get you to heaven. It cannot get you to heaven. You will not, not, that's not getting you born again. Hallelujah. Accept Jesus Christ. That's the point of being born again. That's what Jesus told Nicodemus. Hallelujah. Open the door and he says, I will come in. I will, I will. Hallelujah. Will you open up your heart today? Hallelujah. And let Jesus Christ come in. He said, we'll have fellowship. Hallelujah, we'll have fellowship. Sup, he will sup with you and you will sup with him. Hallelujah, you'll talk, communicate you're in, the, in his word. You read his word. That's when we read the word. That's when he's speaking to us. And when we pray, that's when we, we are talking to him. Hallelujah. And when we go to church, when we go in the house of the Lord, yeah, we, we hear God speaking to us again. Come on, we have fellowship. Hallelujah. Communion with him. And he's waiting to have that with you today. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you will have fellowship. Sup. He will sup with him. And you will sup with the Lord Jesus Christ. And not only now. Hallelujah. You will have be partaking in the great marriage supper of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Not only here on earth. But when he comes to take you out from here. Come on. Today is a good day. Open your heart. And accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Bow your hearts right where you are. And accept. Uh, just tell the Lord that. Hey, Lord, I'm, I know I'm a sinner. And I need Jesus Christ. I need to be saved. I open my heart today. I open my life to you today. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Make me your child. Put my name in the Lamb's book of life. And help me to live for you. From th this day on. Even forever. Amen. If you pray, if you said that. Jesus Christ, you'll be born again. Come on. Mean it in your heart. And accept Jesus Christ today before it is eternally too late. I give God praise and thanks for the opportunity to share his word. Continue to view this program on TIN every Wednesday afternoon. The message of hope at 5.30 p.m. God bless you. Don't let this word fall to the ground. Let it take root in your heart today. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.